Hi, I'm Sonia Lisa Fanga, and today I'm here to react to episode 19 of Mother's GQ. Um, last time we had a very fun episode with Wei Ying trying to give uh, the Berrymans a better harvest and accidentally bringing the crops to life, creating new vegetable demons, which um, Lanja didn't realise they were vegetable demons, he just heard there were new demons and rushed to their aid, um, only to find that uh, Wei Ying was just causing his usual trouble. Uh, and enjoying it as well, like, he's not worried about the fact that he's brought these new beings to life. No, he's, um, he, he's just riding them around and having fun. Um, so, we're on episode 19, we're almost two-thirds of the way through the show. Uh, I assume we like doing the story up until now in the, the actual Donghua in thirds. So, we've done the childhood... We've done during and after the Sunshot com campaign and the burial mounds. So I'm guessing maybe up after episode 20, we'll be going to the future. Because we know we have future because we see in the opening, we uh, see Zhao Pingguo and um, the juniors. So we will be at some point. I'm guessing it will be about 21, maybe a little bit after that. I'm not sure how many episodes we'll be able to fit into the future. What kind of extras we can do which won't spoil anything that hasn't been done yet. I don't know, I'm very excited to see. Please no spoilers in the comments. If you uh, want to write a comment with a novel spoiler, then please put novel spoiler at the start of it. And if you want to do a spoiler for um, a future episode of the Chibi series, then please put future episode spoiler. Uh, you can say the episode if you'd like, and then I can read it when I get to that episode. Cause I, I don't know what extras are going to be ad adapted or not. So I want to keep that as a surprise to myself. So I'll read things if it's a specific episode after I've watched the episode. If you want updates about the channel, when I'm recording, editing, future polls for series, then please follow my Twitter at elusivefangirlY. Otherwise, I think that's it. I just really want to watch the episode. So let's get to it. Confessions of love. Are we going to get um, a little bit about the wedding? No. <laughs> oh, that's such a cute idea. <laughs> oh, his little blush is so cute. Oh no, there's not too much though. <laughs> Don't ruin it for him. <laughs> She's so cute. Two of them lurking. I love how casual they are about this. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> oh. And I'm glad it wasn't them interfering. I'm glad it was just a mistake on his part. Oh, and his little cuts on his fingers. Oh. It's not going to taste good. Uh, fall over. Oh, are you in her room? A bit scandalous. It, sh she's there. She's there. She's there. She's there. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so cute. Oh, Anjan's smile. Anjan's so proud of like Wei Ying for not being childish about this and just, just saying the fact that, you know, Ginger's run is lucky to have his sister. Like, oh, and I'm really glad that none of it was interference from uh, Zhang Chang or Wei Ying who like causing these things to fail it was just the fact that Jin Shijuan is just um awkward and clumsy and it, but he was trying his best to woo he's doing all these really sweet gestures so tops to him like oh that's that's so cute that was just adorable especially like it, when it's chipified it's just even more adorable but like her like just like 
patting his cheek is like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. And the little hearts between them were so cute. Oh my god. It's just so adorable. Everything is really cute. <laughs> oh god. Everything's too cute. I think that's basically it. It's just a cute, very, very cute episode. Um, in terms of their relationship, I, when I first watched, so, because I watched the Donghua first, um, out of any adaptations I hadn't read or anything like that before, um, I was so, so about their relationship because they don't show a huge amount of it. Um, especially since after season one, then I started going into the other adaptations. But um, even in season two, we get to see a little bit, which is very cute. We get to see a little bit. But um, it was the other adaptations that sold me on, the rela- on their relationship, especially actually The Untamed, I think, did their relationship quite well. Um, before, I was kind of like, so, so I didn't really mind it. But I, I, I wasn't particularly shipping it hard or anything like that. But after The Untamed and when you get to see more content, I was like, actually, okay, this is very cute. And I'm with this content, now the Donghua has got that cuteness actually inside it, so I'm I'm very happy. Oh, I just love getting these glimpses of stuff that we, in the story that we had to skip over for time and kind of, uh, conciseness of the, the story, the main storyline. Um, so I'm so, so glad that we're getting it, even if it's just in chibi form, but actually in chibi form it's even cuter, so no complaints. The fact that we're actually getting this content is adorable. Just so good, so good. Otherwise, I think that's it. So I hope to see you all next time. Bye-bye.